Hello and welcome to Longship Gaming. Today we are playing Marvel Champions. It's going to be the newly released Spider-Ham up against Ronin. The most difficult, some would say broken villain in the game against uh, a potentially very strong, uh, if not one of the stronger heroes in the game. I went on to the Marvel Champions database found myself a deck that purported to have beaten Ronan twice in a row on the first play. Let's see if that holds true. Uh, in full disclosure, I have um, played this game out numerous times. I have um, actually won it. It was on the second try. Subsequent tries, um, either, you know, it was the, the typical... Ronin bursting damage out of nowhere or surging into oblivion. There's nothing you could really do about it. Um, or I was making mistakes playing Spider-Ham, which is easy to do. Um, and I'll, I'll explain in a moment why regarding the kind of cards that are in the deck, but he demands a, a, a new way of, uh, of approaching play for a hero of this type. So first of all, we're going to go over the scenario, and then I'll go over the deck itself. So I'm going to go over the scenario, have a look at Peter himself, Peter Porker, and then have a look at the deck. So, to those familiar with Ronan, who've tried to take him on <laughs> as many times as I have, on Expert he comes with 18 health, he starts tough, he's got a scheme of 2 and attack of 3, when he activates... Um, if I have, if, or if the player has, or a player has the Power Stone, uh, then he gets to flip two boost cards. If I lose it, he gets it back. He only gets one. Still, two boost cards. And that's on an attack or an active, any kind of activation, so it's a scheme as well. Uh, he comes in with a Universal Weapon, which gives him Stalwart, uh, which gives him plus one scheme, plus one attack. Uh, we can damage ourselves for two to deal ourselves one face down counter card, and then the universal swapping is shuffled back into the deck. His scheme, first stage interception imminent, uh, has a uh, threshold of seven, comes in with two as a first player action. Uh, you can uh, exhaust the Milano and remove three from the scheme. Goes up to every turn. Uh, on Expert, he comes out with Cut the Power, so the Crisis comes out with Three Threat, and the Kree Command Ship, which is a hazard, and as a first player interrupt, we can Exhaust Milano and spend one resource of any type to cancel that card's when revealed effects. So for Peter, Par uh, Peter Parker, otherwise known as Spider-Ham, he has 12 hit points. He has a massive 5 recovery, because cartoon. As a response, after you make a basic recovery, put one tune counter on Peter Porker. On his hero side, he has a thwart of 2, an attack of 1, and a defense of 1. Each tune counter on Spider-Ham can be spent as if it were a wild card resource. Spider-Nonsense response after Spider-Ham takes any amount of damage, place one tune counter on him. So... The deck that we went and got from the Champions Database, which will be listed in the description below and credited to the author, is a leadership deck. So, we have Maria Hill as our leadership ally. Three copies of Clarity of Purpose. So, Clarity of Purpose came in the Spider, and I guess that's the way that you pronounce it. I don't know. <laughs> the Robot Spider, the Penny Parker deck. Uh, attached to a friendly character, this is a clarity of purpose, attached to a friendly character, max one per character. Hero resource, exhaust this card and deal one damage to attached character and generate a wild card resource. Absolutely crucial to the functioning of, well, I'd say any leadership deck from here on out, I can't see clarity of purpose not being in it. For a, a trade-off for one damage for a resource and it just exhausts the card, it doesn't exhaust the hero is remarkable. Uh, and in this case, we're going to generate the one. We're going to do one damage to Spider-Ham. Spider-Ham's going to get a token 
and get another resource. So the resource generation is is incredible. There there is really no other hero quite in this league as of yet in the game. Throw three copies of it to make sure that we get that as early as possible. You want that turn one. Uh, Triskelion, um, because in late game you're playing to have a lot of um, recursion of heroes. Once you've got your engine set up, you can uh, get a lot of uh, a lot of heroes out. Ideally, for that last push on stage two, make the call uh, important for this deck because there are only five allies, and um, three of them are web warriors, and you want to gain benefits off of their uh, entering and leaving play. Last stand, uh, an underused card. Um, when an ally you control attacks, it gets three attack for that attack, or plus three attack. After that attack resolves, discard that ally. Very potent for clearing any um, uh, high hit point blockers, which there are in Rona. Um, but if attached to, say, um, Ghost Spider, that uh, does a lot of damage, plus gaining a card back to your hand and allowing you to recur her with Make the Call. Amongst other characters. But uh, yeah, good good punch, especially, again, near the end of the game if you're just swimming in tune resources, which you hope to do. For our basic cards, we have good old Nick Fury. We have Spider. Spider's an interesting one. Um, when defeated, uh, add Spider to your hand if she was defeated, taking excess consequential damage. So you're almost always going to be attacking when she comes out and then thwarting on the second, um, at her second activation to draw her back to your hand. So she's always going to be doing that, and you can always recur her. And she can serve as a, um, a blocker in a pinch, but you don't really want to use her for that. Uh, Ghost Spider I mentioned before. So again, uh, when leaves play, search your deck for an identity-specific event and add it to your hand. So something like, um, uh, oh, no, you don't. Uh, to to uh, basically get rid of those Ronin, those nasty um, encounter cards that you don't want, like fanaticism, let's say. Uh, Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man is here in order to uh, allow other characters to stand back up again. Other web warriors, either the allies, so Spider or Ghost Spider, uh, or uh, Spider-Ham himself get extra activations. Uh, team building exercise to drop the cost of getting them into play. Uh, but of course, for uh, sharing a uh, trait, which is always going to be a web warrior, so it doesn't work so well for <laughs> Nick or uh, Maria. Uh, Helicarrier, again, to drop cost, Avenger Mansion for, draw, for um, card draw. Web of Life and Destiny, because our web warrior allies are going to be leaving play and coming back into play quite frequently. Allows us to draw cards. Warrior of the Great Web. So every time that a web warrior leaves play, this is going to go on to Spider-Ham and his attack is going to get boosted. And then for our resources, two copies of the power in all of us. Energy, strength, and genius. So we are going to get shoveled up. See how we can do. Hopefully this is one of those games where uh, <laughs> he, uh, he can deal with the overwhelming pressure that uh, that Ronan places on the player. Um, we're going to get shuffled up, and we will be right back to play against Ronan. All right, we're back. We're shuffled up. We have our six starting cards. Let the brutal ordeal against Ronan begin. <laughs> All right, we got Spider-Man, Petulant Pig, Cartoon Physics, Ham It Up, Make the Call, Clarity of Purpose. Okay, so. Um, we don't want him attacking us yet. We want Cartoon Physics for sure. We don't need to ham it up if we can get Spider Spider Man out. Uh, we don't need to make the call. 
we do want Spider-Man and we definitely 100% want clarity of purpose. One, two, three. Okay, Triskelion, Hogwashed, Swinging Web Pig. All very good, but not entirely what we want. So, we're going to flip over. We're going to spend Triskelion to bring out Clarity of Purpose. We're going to use Clarity of Purpose to ding ourselves for one. Put ourselves, give ourselves a tune counter. <clears throat> so we're floating one right now. Uh, we're going to use that for cartoon physics. Then we're going to not use the counter. We're instead going to use the Milano as a resource. Uh, we might have to. Looking at the kind of resources we have, we might have to do so. In order to be able to play out Spider-Man because of his, his requirements. Okay, so. Um, we're going to use the counter. We're going to use the Milano. And we're going to use Swinging Web Pig. So much as I would like to use that card, I'm not going to get any use out of it right now. So we're going to hang on to Hogwashed. Spider-Man comes in. So we're going to thwart Spider-Pig. Spider-Man. Uh, after Spider-Man attacks or thwarts, choose another Web Warrior character and ready it. So Spider-Man is going to thwart Interception Imminent. Uh, then that brings up Spider-Ham. Spider-Ham is going to ping off the tough. And I think we're good. So we're sort of well protected for now. One, two, three, four. No counters though, it's unfortunate. So we have Hogwashed, I don't think so. Web of Life's Destiny, Make the Call, and my other cartoon physics. Okay. So, he's gonna scheme. He's gonna attack, so now we have a decision to make here. Do we throw Spider-Man in the way? So we could use make the call, but then we wouldn't get any benefit out of web of life and destiny. So we could just take the hit from cartoon for cartoon physics since we have the other one in hand. So I think that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to take it on the chin. Uh, so this is going to be four, five, six, seven, eight. Aha, goodbye. Shadows of the past. So we're going to use cartoon physics just to wiggle your body. I'm wiggling. Take one. Take a counter. Ignore all that damage. Now we have interception. Sorry, we have our we have our encounter cards. First one. Peril. Uh, choose one. Exhaust Milano, spend two resources, stun. Um, well, it's a cheaper way to do it, it's just to exhaust the Milano. Second one, schemes. Okay, we don't want that to happen. So we are going to play out. I don't think so. So when you reveal a card from the counter deck, remove one to encounter from Spider-Ham, say, I don't think so, in your best Spider-Ham voice. I don't know how to sound like John Mulaney, so I don't think so. I don't know. In your best Spider-Man hand voice, cancel the effects of the card and discard it. So we're going to use Hogwashed to pay for that and the counter. And no scheming for you. Okay. So it's back to us now. Well, Web of Life and Destiny is free. So that's going to get played out. We're going to ding ourselves again 
to get a counter. Floating one, play out cartoon physics. We're going to hold on to make the call because we're probably going to need it. Uh, all right, so we're going to thwart. Then we're going to attack. Which is going to bring us up again, and then we're going to attack for two. Okay. One, two, three, four. Strength, clarity, purpose, clarity, purpose, last tent. <laughs> I, okay, sure. <laughs> so, so scheme is going to attack. Spider Man's going to get in the way. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. And then he gets Power Stone. Fine. Spider Man. Gets blown up, but we draw a card off of Web of Life and Destiny. We get Ghost Spider. It's all right. First encounter card, Creed Commando. Second one, Cannonade. All right. I mean, those definitely could have been far worse. But Patrol is an issue. Okay, so. We need to get rid of the commando. So we're going to clarity of purpose, ding ourselves for one, get a counter. We're going to make the call and in addition to the one wild card that we're flo or wild resource that we're floating here spend strength to bring back spider-man um we're gonna spend oh gotta remember can't do it that way. So we've got, can't spend, okay, we can't spend using strength. We can, so it's a wild card. This is a genius. And then we will have to spend one to bring them out to meet their requirements. So there we go. Uh, and then I think we're gonna play our ghost spider as well. Figure out what to do with this last stand. Um, we have to get rid of the commando. To be able to get thread off the main scheme. We could last stand. Ghost Spider. After that attack resolves. Hmm. Okay. We're going to attack with Spider-Man. Putting two on the commando. No, oh, so we're gonna, again, gotta do this in the right order. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Milano Um, 
exhaust it to get three off of that scheme. Get off three off of cannonade. Okay. I'm going to have Ghost Spider thwart the remaining one. I can do that because that's not the main scheme. Then I'm going to have Spider Ham hit the commando for one. Uh, then I'm going to last stand Spider Man. So he gets an attack of five now. So it's going to take out the commando. I'm going to unexhaust spider ham. I'm going to draw a card off of web of life and destiny, which is spider. I am going to thwart the last two off interception imminent. And I think that we're good. Okay. So we weathered that pretty well. Didn't really gain any ground, but so be it. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna have to swap out these sleeves, they're getting a little sticky. Okay, spider, last stand, genius, organic webbing, power in all of us. Okay. Back to Ronin. He's going to attack. He's only getting one card, but he's still at a base of five. I think I'm going to have to throw Ghost Spider in the way. So base of five, six. Ghost Spider's gone. So when she leaves play, search your deck for an identity specific event and add it to your hand. Uh, let's see, what do we want? Hmm. I think it's going to be swinging web pig. Don't know if I can get that off this turn, but we'll see. It might be worth it to take a be able to take a break. And then because of web and life and destiny, we draw another card. So team building. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, first encounter card. Cree Private has Quick Strike, so it's going to hit us for one. It's fine. Second one. Ronin. Okay, so this is one we don't want to have happen, so we're going to bow the Milano and pay for it. We do not want Ronin attacking us. All right. Back to us. So. We're going to Clarity of Purpose. Yeah, we're definitely going to be taking a break this turn. Risky, though it is, but we have to do it, I feel. We have lots of resources to do this with. Okay. The Cree Private can stay out for a while. He doesn't really concern us very much. So, uh, we're going to Organic Webbing. We have a Thwart of three. So we're going to go ahead and Thwart now. Uh, organi organic Webbing. Uh, allows us to remove one to encounter and ready spider him. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to take two damage, giving us another token to get rid of the universal weapon, which gives us an encounter card. It's a risky play, but it is something we 100% have to do on this turn. Okay. 
Uh, then we are going to see how kind of resources we have here. Do we play out team building to get a cheaper spider? We know we have to do swinging web pig. Uh, oh, I, <laughs> there's one thing I always forget that that actually generates a resource as well that we could have spent. So we're going to do it this way instead, instead of playing out organic webbing with two resources, we're going to spend just the one on last stand. Okay. So can we do this? Can we do that to drop that to one to pay? For, I think we can get everything out. So we're going to team building exercise. Use a counter to pay and then use team building exercise to bring out spider. And then spend another token and genius to play swinging web pig. So it's going to do six damage to Ronan. It's going to confuse Ronan. Uh, it's going to give us an opportunity to flip over, to recover, to go back up to nine. That'll put a counter on us because we recovered. Uh, we're going to attack with spider do a big one. Oh, uh, and the power stone came back to us because we did three damage using swinging web pig. Okay. So we're kind of in a position where we want to be. We have spider in a position where, uh, she can come back to our hand for recursion. We've got him confused. So the problem, of course, is having three encounter cards this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ham it up, make the call. Huge wooden hammer, petulant pig, last stand, power and all of us. Okay. So I might make the call is going to be very valuable for us here for sure. Maybe even ham it up. We'll see what happens. Okay, Moran's going to scheme. Well, scheme goes on the on the uh, his main scheme. He's going. He's confused, so he can't scheme. <clears throat> Let's pull this a little forward. Uh, one more is going to go on because of the private. <clears throat> Single Mind of Fury. Ronan the Accuser attacks the player controls the Power Stone, even if that player is in Alter Ego form. Do we cancel this? Or do we lose our cartoon physics? It's not going to give us a counter if we do that. So I think we're going to, oh, we can't spend that. That's not how that works. Uh, we're going to just play out our last stand to cancel that when revealed. Next, so this is number two. Surge, give Ron a tough card. That's fine. Still two more. Really want a hot dog. You may flip to your alter ego. Move one tune counter, remove it. Okay, so that's fine. Since we could do that now, he really wants a hot dog, so he's taking a break to eat a hot dog. Hopefully an all beef one. Uh, so just to, okay, so we canceled the first one. 
The second one had Surge, and it surged into I Really All Hunt Hot Dogs. So this is the third one. Assault. So you need Surge. Next. Oh boy. Okay. So there's Fanaticism. We know we can survive one hit from Fanaticism. It surges. Uh, Ronin Schemes. Plus one Scheme. Okay, that's an even bigger problem. So here we go with the fact that out of nowhere, with the right combination of cards, Ronin can just go absolutely berserk. Which he has now done. So, scheming for a base of two, drawing two cards, very unlikely he's not going to flip. And I do not have the card to stop that. Uh, so that's four, so it's going to flip. Five. All right. Now we're on to stage two. I take what's mine. He gets the Power Stone back. Uh, and while he has it, we can't get Threat off the scheme. It comes in at one. So, yeah. You think you're in good shape. And then, that happens. <laughs> okay. It's back to us. So, we need to get the Power Stone back. So, we're going to flip over. We're going to Clarity of Purpose. So, we're currently floating one. We'll use... Ham it up in that one to bring out the huge wooden hammer. So we now have an attack of two and that's not going to be enough unless we use that counter, but we have to use organic webbing to stand up. Still not going to be enough. We can't actually thwart with spider. Because we can't get the threat off of that. So I feel that our best bet right now is to be able to draw a card off of Web of Life and Destiny. Uh, to hit Ronan to get the tough off. Unfortunately, because it wasn't excess consequential damage, she's going to get discarded. We are going to draw a card off of Web Life Destiny, which is the mansion, which doesn't really do us much good. It's not going to be until the next turn that we can actually be able to use the hammer to do enough damage to get the stone off. Hmm, okay. Um, we're going to use Make the Call and our three resources here to bring back Spider-Man. Petulant Pig really isn't doing anything for us. I mean, we can force him 
to give up one of his charges off fanaticism, but we know that our other cartoon physics is in here. So that's really too dangerous of a play. So we're just going to end up discarding this, I think, at the end of the round or end of the turn. So we're going to hit the private for two. And that's about... Oh, this is going to bring us back up. We can hit him for another two and leave him on. Yeah, so we're going to do that. We're going to leave the private on four and then everybody stand up. We're going to get rid of Petulant Pig. One, two, three, four, five. Swinging Web Pig, Helicarrier, Daily Beagle, Warrior of the Great Web, and Energy. Okay. So now we have a way to get it back. All right. He's going to scheme. He's going to attack. This is going to be an attack of five. With overkill and piercing, uh, so we're just going to let cartoon physics take it. I mean, that's... <laughs> Eight. But it's not. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Take one. Get a counter. Take another one from the private. Get another one. First encounter card, a Cree private again. He's going to attack. <laughs> Get pinged again. Lastly, the universal weapon. So now we have that problem again where we can't stun him, but we have to to survive the turn. This is going to be a rough turn if I bow, but I really don't have a choice in the matter. I have to hit him for six, no matter what. <sighs> and confuse him. lot to do on this turn. Okay. As always, we clarity of purpose. Now I'm up to five counters. That's pretty good. I'm going to have to take two to get Universal Weapon off to clear the way. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to use three of the tokens, because why not, on Swinging Web Pig, bringing Ronan down to one, and confusing him. Get 
getting the stone back. Okay. Stone's back in our possession. We're going to thwart. You're going to spend one token on the uh, organic webbing. Stand back up. We're going to attack spending one token to give ourselves now we have an attack of two, three, four, five to take out the private. Spider-Man will attack the other private. Which will stand us back up again. All right. Anything else here we need to do? No. Okay. We're going to flip over. We're going to recover. Gonna go to seven, get a counter. Um, one, two, three for the hell carrier. And then use the helicarrier and spend where the great web. Bring down the daily beagle. Exhausting that gives us yet another counter. Forgot to give ourselves the encounter card. All right, let me stand up again. I think we're gonna have to do another recovery when we flip over, but one, two, three. So we have four encounter cards. Ronan being tantalizingly on one hit point on side one. Uh, let's hope that the card gods are favorable for us. So, one, two, three. Hogwashed, Ham it Up, Avengers Mansion, Maria Hill, Nick Fury, Captain America. Wow. <laughs> three of them right on the bottom. Amazing. So, uh, one scheme's gonna go on, or one threat. He cannot scheme, because he's confused. First of four, so let's just pull them all out. <laughs> For the absolute horror show that's about to occur here. Okay, first one, Lieutenant, Guard Stoward. Next one, he's gonna scheme. He's gonna scheme. For two plus two more cards. I think we can let that through. Two, three, just three, because it's not an attack. Okay. Could have been far worse. Number four. Number three, sorry. The universal weapon goes back on. <laughs> Can't do anything about that anyway. Uh, gain surge. Fine. 
Fanaticism. Double fanaticism. Terrific. Nothing we do to really stop those. I could have tried to stop the surge. In, in retrospect, I probably should have, because that would have been the end of it. But, so be it. That's what happens. All right. We 100% have to recover again. Because we're in bad shape. So we're all the way back up to 12. The beagle will give us another counter. So we're sitting on five. And we're going to flip over. We're going to clarity of purpose. Get another counter. So we're sitting on six for take a damage. We have one resource floating. We're going to use that resource. Oh, we're not at all. We're going to use ham it up. We have six tune counters, so we're going to get rid of all the threat. Or something here. If it's possible. Like, I really doubt this is possible, but you never know. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to use team building exercise and the helicarrier and hogwashed and one counter to bring out Nick. Nick's gonna draw us three cards. One, two, three. Okay, cartoon physics saves us here from a really big hit. We're going to attack with Spider-Man for two, which means Ronan is going to go to stage three. He's got retaliate and toughness. Okay. And he goes to 20. When revealed, go looking for superior tactics. Superior tactics. Not in there. Okay. So we'll resolve what's going on with Spider Man in a second. There we go. Superior tactics. Power Stone cannot be unattached from Ronan. When revealed, attach the Power Stone from Ronan. Or to Ronan. Okay. So, Power Stone. 
is unrunning. Again, I'm just going to double up these horrific fanaticisms. This has two on it. So Spider-Man goes. But he draws us a card off of Web of Life and Destiny. Make the call. Okay. We know that we need to... Oh, that, sorry. And by doing that, we've stood up. So I've made the call. Is it possible to kill him on this turn? To do 20? The hammer is five. On its own. As it stands right now. So that's five. One, two, three. No, it's four. It's four. And I have many ways of standing him back up again. It just gets kind of pricey. We know we need to keep one around for cartoon physics. Well, we're going we're gonna to spend that anyway because we know we, we're going to need it. If things don't go the way we want them to go. Do we want to play Maria? Not necessarily. We... Well, we might, but she takes up a spot. We don't have the Triskelion out, so we can't have another character. So we need our heavy hitters. So we're going to spend our three. Hmm, no. One. We're not going to play the mansion. So that's two. And three. For Spider-Man. We're going to have Nick attack for two to get the tough off. So now we're looking at 20. This might actually be possible. We're going to hit, oh, sorry, I had to use make the call to bring Spider-Man back. Don't want to cheat. Okay. We're going to attack using the hammer. For four. Which means the stone doesn't come off, but... No, no, no. Okay. Let's, let's roll this back a second. We definitely need to be able to thwart off superior tactics. To be able to get the stone off to boost our damage. And we need to be able to stand back up again. Math is very tough on this. Okay. 
No use wasting a counter on that. So we're gonna use Spider-Man to thwart. No, nope, no, we're not gonna do that yet. Oh, so frustrating, okay. Because we need to have Spider-Ham hitting on this turn. Three times if possible. So four, three, ten, This is difficult. Or do we play out Maria Hill? No, I think, I think we just try and do this. Survive the hit back on the following turn. Seems a little crazy to me. But Web of Life and, De life and Destiny is going to save our life here. Alright, so we're going to thwart Spear Tactics. We are going to attack for two. Which brings us up. We're going to spend one to attack with the hammer, which is going to give us one, two, three, four. Then a 14, which is going to give us the stone. Then We're going to use organic webbing and spend one to come back up again. And now hit for one, two, three. So down to 11. So he's done. And we could just hit him for six. Or we hang on to Swinging Web Pig, get Maria out, or Spider out as sort of a backup, maybe. This is a really tough play. I'm gonna, I, Swing Web Pig isn't gonna do much for us on this turn. I think we need to have somebody out. To potentially save our life. <laughs> uh, and I think that's gonna be Maria or Spider. Spider would draw us a card if Spider goes down. No, we're going to play up Maria. Okay. Draw us a card. Petulant Pig. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't need it. Maria's not going to do anything here. Well, no, I'm going to have her attack for one because why not? Why not? Every every point of damage ultimately matters. Every potential source of damage I have out here 
potentially matter. So that was one hell of a complicated turn. But, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to get rid of, uh, oh no, oh no, that stays. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay. So, swing web peg, cartoon physics, swing web peg, swing web peg. Mm, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Scheme. He's going to attack. Uh, we're just going to take it on the chin. He's now going to have a base of four, five, six, seven, seven, nine. So we take one. We get a count. Cartoon physics goes away. Okay. First encounter card. Cree physiology surge. Give Ronan a tough status card. Uh, that's fine. I don't care. It's not going to be that hard to get through. So, still technically the first card. Surge, exhaust. That is not a thing that's going to happen. Still two. One. Cree Commando. Fine. Next. Cree Private. Quick Strike hits me for one. Okay. And I think the way is now clear to finish him off. So Nick's going to go... I think we're just going to do this in style. Oh, and that attack went off, so fanaticism is gone. Oh, we dodged a bullet there. Uh, yeah, so it's just going to be... Uh, have Maria ping off the tough. There's no guard here. It's just patrol, so I don't care. And let's do this. Let's do this with style, rather than doing with a swinging web pig. Uh, we're gonna hit him with a hammer. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So in in part, <laughs> in part, it's both. Uh, and then the swinging web pig using another swinging web pig for six and it takes him out. Oh, uh, he had to retaliate, so it would have taken uh, two there. Oh, who did? Oh, Maria would have been gone previously because of the uh, retaliate. So I would have had to do it with Spider-Man. Who would be gone? And I'd draw another card anyway. I would have taken two more, gotten two more counters off the Retaliate. I was still in no threat of dying at any point. Yeah. So I, I may have missed the Retaliate trigger there uh, once or so. Ultimately it would not have mattered because I had so much damage potential on that turn coming out. Yeah. I don't think... Yeah, Nick did that job. They never came out. Yep, so... Yeah, really, it, it's, it's interesting with uh, Spider-Ham in that he is extraordinarily powerful uh, when he has the complete suite of cards available. Um, I, I, I really enjoy him. Uh, I think this, this was exemplary of how the deck is actually supposed to work and can function. Uh, sometimes you just get unlucky. Um, for example, the, the fanaticisms that uh, both of them came out on that turn. Now it's nice to see them go as quickly as possible, but if it wasn't for the fact that I was able to draw cartoon physics when I did, it would have been over. So with the, with the exception of, of some, maybe a minor mistake there regarding retaliate, uh, 
which again was only feeding me more power anyway, I wasn't really in danger of losing that game once I had Ronan down to half health. Um, very, very potent deck when it can go off. I don't even know how it, how it would improve it. Like normally I'd say instead of Maria, have something like White Tiger or something in there or even Kalu to, to get the kind of event you want. But it's, uh, I mean, just the, the draw and having that, that good thwart on St. Maria is, uh, is quite good. Well, I, you know, after uh, multiple tries practicing this one, I'm glad that it turned out the way that it was supposed to. Um, and with, again, uh, I, I know there may have been a mistake there with retaliate, but I, it would not have changed the outcome of the game. Uh, so let me know down below if you try these spider ham decks or try this particular uh, spider ham deck. I'd like to see how effective it is. Um, again, I don't think it's the magic bullet for Ronan. It's, it's no different than playing Dr. Strange. Uh, one of the, you know, the most powerful deck in the game, but Spireham really does give Dr. Strange a run for his money. Um, and it's easily going to be topped here. So until next time, uh, happy gaming. And, uh, I think the next game up will be, uh, trying spider, uh, possibly against, I think the last remaining villain who has not been seen on this channel, Arnim Zola. Until next time, happy gaming. Thank you so much for watching Longship Gaming. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It will really help the channel to grow and improve. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when more Longship Gaming content goes live. Until next time, happy gaming.